Hi, I'm George. Welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to be doing our pasticho. People call it the Greek lasagna. Very popular here at the restaurant. Uh, it's something that my mother always made for us as we were kids. Um, I know you're going to like this one. So right now I'm going to start with the meat sauce. And we're going to add oil to our pot. We're going to add our onions. So we're going to use a medium ground beef. There's a little fat in it. We like the fat in the ground beef because that's what brings out the flavors. So we're going to add our ground beef to the pot and we're going to start breaking it down. I'm going to add some seasoning. We have salt, some pepper, we have dill, some mint, parsley, some garlic, and we're going to keep breaking down the meat, add some cloves, and again our trusty old cinnamon stick. And now we're going to add our tomato juice to the meat sauce. The tomato juice I'm using are from my parents' tomatoes on our farm. Uh, they boil them down, they can them. Uh, I have a year's supply of tomato juice downstairs. Um, it's something that we use in a lot of our dishes. It brings out great flavors. It's absolutely amazing. Now that Carl is behind me, I can throw my secret ingredient in the sauce that I would love to tell you, but I don't want to tell you. <laughs> I encourage everyone to taste their food as you're cooking. I love tasting my food as I'm going. Reason being is, I know this needs to boil down more, and that's the reason why you always want to taste it, to see how you're progressing throughout your meal. So I'm gonna let that boil down for a minute. I'm coming this way. We did a batch yesterday, and we do about 40 pounds of meat. We let it simmer for about an hour because you want to release that flavor out of the um, cloves and the cinnamon. That's where you get the taste from, right? Right now there's a slight taste to it, but it's not what we always do. So now we're going to construct our lasagna. I pre-boiled our noodles. We add butter and cheese to it, toss it. So we layer the bottom, covering the whole pan. So now we're going to bring our meat sauce over and we are going to layer again on our pasticho, covering all the areas and of course we're going to take out the cinnamon stick because we don't want to chew on that. We're going to be adding some cheese and then layering it with another layer of pasta and that's it. So now we're going to make our bechamel sauce. I have milk boiling. We're going to keep stirring and then we're going to get our butter up to a boil and we're going to make a roux. You know what they say about watching things boil? It takes forever when you watch. It takes forever. It's true. Come on! So now we're going to add our flour to the butter and we're going to create our roux. And we'll get this nice and hot. And then we're going to add it to our milk. This will thicken up and create our bechamel. So now we're going to add more cheese. So now we'll be adding our egg yolks. So this is our bechamel. Uh, the consistency we want is just like this. We don't want it too thick, but we don't want it too runny. If it does get too runny, just add a little bit of flour to it and it will thicken up even more. If it's too thick, add some water to it to thin it out. But this one here is just, it's, it's spot on. So now we're going to bring our bechamel to our layers and we're going to cover it right up. Spread it evenly across, covering all the noodles, like so. And then we're just gonna top it off with some more cheese for 
color at the end. 45 minutes in the oven and we're good to go. So we've taken out the pasticcio after 45 minutes. You can see it's golden brown. This is, this is the look you want on the pasticcio. So I'm just gonna cut into this, so here I go. So here we have our pasticcio, and I had to use two spatulas because I'm a very impatient person and I just want to tap into this thing. Now this is our half portion and we top it with feta. So let's try our pasticcio. This was one of my favorite dishes growing up as a child when my mom made it. The meat sauce, you can taste the cloves, the cinnamon, the dill, the mint, the cheese, bechamel, it's creamy, it's just wonderful. I don't know what else to say, except for when you come in next time, order it, you're really gonna like it. Carl? Russell? If you like what you saw, please subscribe to our channel at George's Greek Village. See ya.